My name is Adam Mowry. I work for the Chester County Conservation District and I'm the Mushroom Farm Resource Conservationist. So we're at a mushroom farm here um, doing a construction check because they are um, installing the practices that we designed for them here. Um, this is the design we put together for them. It's you know, approved by an engineer and this is something that we give to a, a contractor so he can do the work. A brief description of my position with the mushroom farmers is essentially I make sure they are meeting the regulations that PADEP has in place um, for them. Uh, there's a mushroom manual out. Uh, pretty much uh, illustrating, depicting what they need to do in terms of uh, collecting their wastewater and managing the spent mushroom substrate correctly. So I make sure that they are adhering to those laws that are in place. Um, I do that in a number of ways. Basically they need to have an environmental management plan on their farm so I can write and review those plans and also we do some technical assistance as far as helping them install the uh, best management practices that they they need to have in place. A uh, typical day in the field will probably be meeting with a couple different farmers to um, review any issues that they have. If they want our technical assistance, we'll meet with them and walk around the farm with them and see what the issues are. Um, also, I do a lot of surveying uh, out, out in the field, so um, you know that could take a full day of, of surveying a farm, uh, and then we'll come back and load that survey up onto the computer to uh, eventually work on the design. So this is the inside of a mushroom house. They're washing it out. They just harvested their crop. Uh, so these are the beds that they load the mushroom compost on. There's six or seven beds in this house. Uh, once the mushroom compost is loaded on it, they'll pasteurize the compost and then they'll spawn it, put the seed in it, and then the mushrooms start to grow probably about after four to six weeks. I think the people is what I probably enjoy most about the job. Uh, most of the, the farmers that I work with are great and they want to do the right thing. Um, and they're pretty cooperative. So helping somebody from sort of A to Z, if they have a farm that's really not in, in compliance, um, helping them, you know, eventually come up with a design and put the practices in place and, and see that it's, you know, working correctly and that they're able to manage it, um, you know, that's pretty satisfying. Sometimes you want to do your best, but it takes you a while to get to the point until you really take the words and put them in action. Adam Mallory is a man that takes words, puts them in action. I wouldn't want to cross him. He's been very pleasant to work with. You know, I feel the environmental field is, is extremely important, and I think it's only going to get more important, you know, as the years go on. Uh, obviously, the past couple of years, there's been a lot more em emphasis on, you know, going green and doing the right things for the environment, and, you know, I think that makes people feel good inside to do the right things, but I think it's really um, important as uh, we continue as a society and we need to you know respect the environment. Why I initially got interested in conservation and environmental field is probably um, growing up um, going hunting a lot. I enjoyed the outdoors. Um, I think it was uh, you know something that personally affected me. I was interested in land conservation initially because I could see development and things um, affecting where I grew up and, and me not being able to enjoy uh, hunting and being outside like I once used to. So I think uh, it just was something that uh, grew on me from a pretty young age. I think there's a lot of opportunities uh, in the environmental field and I think the one um, beauty about you know being interested in the environment and conservation is that you can do any number of things. Uh, ultimately, I think you need to be self-motivated um, and really uh, there's a lot like I said, a lot of opportunities and you need to, I guess, just put your, put your foot in the water and see where you go.